down to G's. Say hi, Laura. Okay, hi. G and Papa's house. Um, because I don't know if you saw my. Well, we're walking down to G and Papa's because it's the last day of Christmas vacation or fall break or whatever. And Delora's gonna go play with Bay, her cousin. But um, also, I don't know if you saw my seed haul video. It's all my seeds. But um, I kind of put the cart before the horse on that because I need my see that's my backyardish little part of it one of nanny's goats is in my backyard but uh my backyard where i'm gonna put my massively large garden is all grass look all grass and you can't plant a garden in grass and i don't have a tractor big enough well, i don't have a tractor at all but I have a, a tiller attachment that goes on to my weed eater, but I cannot till up all of that grass by myself. So I plan to go ask Pops a favor. But I also have another plan in mind that I think is going to sweeten the deal because I'm going to barter like the old days. Mommy, can huh? I jog? Yeah, you can jog. Go jog. Um, I'm gonna show them all my seeds and I'm gonna ask them like hey I will start some veggies for you for the spring if you want any of them and in return will you till up my grass so that I can plant a really big garden so I'm sure I'm sure we'll have a deal so I will keep you updated what? The goat's head is stuck. The goat's head is stuck? Oh. Okay. Operation unstuck. Well, sweet of you for loving it while it's stuck like that. <laughs> okay, here, hold this. Okay, baby. Just put your head down. No, nope, you gotta back up. You gotta, you gotta move back. You need help. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's one. Here we go. No. 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 Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Uh. Okay. There. There. Oh. There you go, mom. Here. I'm tired of doing that. Well, guys. And that's just life. You're welcome. I love goats. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello. Oh. Hi, baby girl. Hi. 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 I've come with children for a child. He's not gonna bug you. Pops, I have a question. Give me one minute for a tea. Okay. What do you have? Yeah. Pop. A pop? Pop. Is it good? Mmm. Go go play. Go play. You, you make a play. He's making her pink pop. Oh, she's making french fries. What? She's making french fries. So we unstuck one of Kim's goats on the way up. What happened? We unstuck uh, one of Kim's goats. So there, was, there was a goat from the gate. His head was stuck in the gate. Yeah. Are you walking on the porch? Huh? On the porch? Oh, sure. Well, okay. We tried to pet one of the Well, I have a favor. 
Why, what's up, kid? Well, actually, I have a. I want to barter with you. Barter? Yes. Okay. Like the old days. So I was right. thinking this this spring I would have like a really big in ground garden. Okay. But I don't have the capability to till up all the grass. So I was wondering if I could do a trade with you. Are you gonna film each other? <laughs> Where you you could till my grass up, like a big, big, big section in my backyard, and I would start some veggies for you. Oh, uh, yeah. Um. Because I, I was going to show you what I what I ordered, and then you could pick from what you wanted out of here. What is that? Seeds? Yeah. So I was going to start all the seeds, and you could show me what you wanted, and I could make a note of it, and we could, I could trade you some starts for a... Sweetie, you ain't got to trade me nothing. Well, I know. I f figured that, but, you know, you know, sweeten the deal a little bit. I don't, I don't plant a lot of stuff, you know. You got a world of stuff here to plant. I know. And, and well, I've got like a, a lot of variety of... I know, and you're, and you're the person to do it, too, because, <laughs> no, seriously, I've seen your gardens before. You do a great job. I got lots of peppers, tomato, because you do you do tomatoes and peppers and sometimes okra and cucumbers. I've got some squash. See, I've got these beefsteak tomatoes. I've got I'm gonna try these black beauties, Cherokee purples. So if you want, I can try. Yeah, let let Heidi out, please. Let Heidi out here. Come on, Heidi. Thanks, uh, tomatoes and cucumbers and squash. And peppers is about the only thing I do. Yeah. You know? Uh, you might say kind of a, a garden, I mean a salad type garden, I guess you might call it. You know, I... Yeah. Uh, I've done okra. I've done corn before. Yeah, I've got a lot of corn in there too that I want to do. Uh, growing up, we did everything because, you know, uh, my mom and my grandmother, they all canned, you know? Mm -hmm. And you know how to can. Yeah. So that, that's a good thing about you. Mm -hmm. uh, Gigi don't know how to can. <laughs> and about the only thing I can do is pickles. I do pretty good pickles. Yeah. But uh, I'll be glad to help you. How big of a garden you going to make? As big as I can get it. Well, because... I, did, I tried to do corn one time, but I didn't have enough space to, I think to properly do corn, you need a large area yeah. to have rows and where they can pollinate. And so I was thinking having a large sec section for corn and then, you know, my in-ground stuff. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I've seen it, if you want to do, you know, the financial end of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sometimes cheaper to buy corn from somebody. That's all they do is specialize in corn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like some of these places you have to pick your own, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not very expensive like that. Because like you say, you know, growing corn takes a lot of space. Yeah. And that cuts you down on what else you might want to try to plant. Mm -hmm. what, all, what all do you plan on planting? I know you got a lot of stuff. You plan on it. You're going to do a little bit of everything? I want to do a little bit of everything. Okay, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. And, and some of these things will be like fall. Exactly. Month. Yeah, some of them's yeah. fall, some yeah. of them spring, some of them's heat of the summer, like okra. But I think I'm going to do a lot of, you know, staggered planting. And I would like to try some of these pickles. Yeah, there's two. There's a couple different variety of pickles. Yeah. There's a couple different varieties of zucchini because I want to see if one's more tolerant to those squash bugs than the because I always get those vine borers, but yeah, um, yeah, watermelon, cantaloupe, pumpkins. I, I bought a giant pumpkin one. That what I think what I want to do with the giant pumpkins would be kind of cool is to put it, throw some in this in that um, the driveway. Yeah. You know, just throw them out there and see if they, not in the drive, you know, the, the space between us and the neighbors. Yeah. And just see if so they. Lower this way, so yeah. It might grow up hey, Laura. You never know. Where are they? I don't know where they are. Hey, Laura. Peppers. There's some peppers. Yeah. Do you want any french fries? Oh, Laura, say yes, no, ma'am. Thank you. 
Well, I'll be I'll be glad to come down and we have to probably we got to look where your space is going to be and make sure you don't have no septic lines there. And I think the septic lines all run where all the goats run, and that's should. separate. Well, you got, where you, you got, got the lines tank. coming from your house out, out past to, the bees. Yeah, to the well house. But it's over on the well house side, I think. Mm -hmm. So if you stayed behind the bees to the fence. Exactly. Yeah, if you take it from the live oaks all the way to that fence that I have, you know, but on the from the septic tank in the in the well this side, this side of it, towards the driveway, yeah. and all the way up along, you know. That would probably be like what a quarter acre or so. Possibly, yeah. Uh, we probably need to come down and try to plow it a little bit, break, you know, soften it up. Yeah, because it's clay. Yeah, and then disc it, and then we come back later uh, before you plant and, and till it good. Yeah. And uh, why don't y'all go in the backyard and sit in my chairs? That's normally how I do mine. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't have to, but that would be a good but, idea. Or uh, sit on the trampoline so, to eat. Well, yeah, we'll get together on, on when we're going to do it. When do you want to try to start plowing? You know, I can do it too early, huh? I do, whatever, however, I'd like to get him in the ground around, you know, March-ish. So yeah. whenever you think would be good to start. Because I'd like to amend the soil a little bit. Maybe get some of the cow manure and stuff put put in a compost that way i could kind of break get it all in there start spreading it out around that yeah. area yeah because your garden does so well with where you keep your animals back there it's... yeah well see i yeah the biggest thing about my garden and your garden and probably anybody else garden around here is a bahia grass it's hard it's tough uh yeah. i had a fellow on my page sent me a link of some stuff they roll out on their rows and, and you get it off from Amazon, I don't know what they call it, but it's like a fabric, you know? Oh, yes. And it doesn't let the grass grow through mm -hmm. the rain and all that can go right on through it. Yeah. So I'm going to probably do that this year on mine because I had to fight, I had to fight for hair grass and it's just, it, it'll kill you to try to hoe high uh, hair grass. Here. I have some of that in my Amazon cart with the um, little spikes that go in the ground to hold it down. And I've seen them where they like burn holes in it just to have the little holes that For you. Plants. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I haven't ordered it because I didn't know if that well, was. I haven't ordered none yet, but I, I'm going to before, before I start doing my garden. Yeah. Uh, Bree says she's going to help me in my garden too. She wants to tinker in the garden. I don't know if she will or not, but that's fine too. She wants to. Okay. It'll be fun messing with her out there. Yeah. But uh, I'll do cucumbers again, and I'll do tomatoes, and I'll do some peppers. And the peppers, I may just do in pot plants. You know? Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, oh, oh Cuz, you know Cuz, mm -hmm. he brought me some tomatoes over here right before Christmas. Wow. Yeah, that late. And he planted them in, in uh, like raised beds by his house mm -hmm. and protected them. Planted them like in last of August. That's awesome. And beautiful tomatoes. I mean, big old, I forget what brand they were, what kind. And he just harvested them. And uh, I think they had a cup of cold and ice. He just kind of threw something over them. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful tomatoes that, that late in the year. Yeah. I've got a few of um, those Cherokee purples. I planted seeds, I guess, around December. And uh, they're by my garage now. I put them in pots so I could bring them in, like as a bumper crop just yeah. to see. And they're flowering right now with little tiny tomatoes on them. But yeah, I want to, I think uh, And you're going to do a page too, right? Yeah. What's it going to be called? The Denman Homestead. The Denman Homestead. And I've... I, I met you. I mentioned this in one of my other videos about you. <laughs> you uh, you do gardens. Mm -hmm. You do cooking. You're a mother with children. Yeah, I'm gonna do some soaps. You do so. soap, making soap and stuff. You got uh, canning. You do all that kind of stuff. People, I think people really catch on to your page. I hope so. I I wanted to spin it in a way where 
you know, with inflation and COVID and everything, when everything's shut down, how you can really be self-sustainable with, even if you don't have a lot of space. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's good. And plus, you're getting chicken, so you have your own eggs. Yep. The eggs that went through the roof in stores. Yes. It's like $8 a dozen on some places. Yeah. But. And my, all my hens are laying there. I'm getting like seven eggs a day. So I'm real proud of them seven hens. Well, I'm going to butcher some chickens, too. Are you? Okay, there you go. People see how you butcher chickens. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to... We're not going to name the chickens. <laughs> no. <laughs> they won't be pets. <laughs> no. I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want... I couldn't do a pet. No. <laughs> I couldn't do a pet. Mm-mm. Anyway, I, I thought you were really great, Steph. Uh, okay. Well, thank you for your help. I guess we'll start that in a month or so, huh? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get my tractor going. Okay. If I don't get it going, we'll go up maybe see the Bar Lester's little tractor. It takes a smaller tractor for that tiller. Yeah. But I think I'll get mine going. I just got to get them drain all the fuel out of it and then go back and start over. Okay. I think I got bad fuel in it. Mm. The big tractor is running good, but it won't, the tiller won't hook up to it. It has to hook up that forward track. Mm. Yeah. All right. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll plow it, and disc it, and we'll come back and till it. And like I say, the, the grass will be the biggest the biggest problem is going to be the grass. If you put down that flat, flat fabric or something, mm -hmm. then you'll have the grass big. Right. I may try me some raised beds on like my my tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And uh. And I'm putting my peppers in rather pot plants, some pots. I know Tina has good luck with her peppers and pots. A lady sent me some pots. Uh, one of my subscribers that she'd got for me in there. I think they're like five gallon pots. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. but they're they got like handles on. They're made like a like a they're almost flexible. You know. Oh yes, the grow so, they're grow bags. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, grow bags. Yeah, yeah. And I, that's about all the peppers I do. You know, four or five jalapeno peppers, you know. Mm -hmm. And I can move them around if I need to move them or whatever. Yeah. And uh, and I may try to build a couple of raised beds for my tomatoes. I'm not going to do a lot of tomatoes, but cucumbers, I'll do my regular old way. I plant them. And I, and I put the seed pretty close together, maybe a foot apart, like two, three or four seeds and like a foot, three or four more seeds. And that, that some will say that's too close, but I put cow panels once they start coming up mm -hmm. and they climb on those cow panels yeah and the cucumbers not laid on the ground you just pick them up off the wire right yeah and uh but you know i did squash last year and normally it's the big these folks right here love squash but they didn't eat very many squash last year I, but then my, my garden burned up early last oh, year oh it was too. so hot yeah i know that's I'm praying if we do this in-ground garden that we have a wetter summer because and well, a cooler yeah. summer. A lot of folks right here, their gardens burned right up. Yep. You know, and you can't you can't water a garden mm -mm. enough. No. Without maybe damaging your wells if you're not careful, you know. Mm -hmm. Unless you got pot plants on like that you can, but as far as watering the ground. Yeah. With a hot sun like it was. Right. That's awesome. You you order all these from the same place, huh? Most of them are Baker Creek. They're, um, you and I had ordered some before from Baker Creek, and I, I liked it, so I got their magazine and ordered some more. Some of them I've saved from other heirloom that I just, you know, yeah. seed save. And... Uh, are all these heirloom? Yep. Oh, okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I read somewhere, I don't know how true this is, but it, it, it works for me. I freeze myself, put them in the freezer when... Your All seeds? Season. Oh. Yeah. And they never, they never go bad. Hmm. I've got a seed I use that's probably three or four no, years old that I go, I get through planting. Yeah. They go back in the freezer. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll try that. Because I have a lot. Have to eat it. Oh, thank you. Um, what I want to do is I want to get like a, like a photo album, you know, like four by six so that you could slide the little photos in it. Oh, yeah. And organize them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so I can just flip like through fall or spring and then organize them by type. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Because I have a, an addiction, I think. I think I have a problem. 
And what's cool about this Baker Creek is they send you free seeds. Like I've never eaten, or I've never grown bok choy, but it's... I have no idea what that is. Yeah, it's um... <laughs> I think it'd be fun. Yeah. I think you got a lot of fun out of this stuff. Yeah. And just to see what does good and what doesn't and play around with it. And... I grew cabbage one year. I looked back on my Facebook and it was huge, huge cabbage in my raised beds. So I'd like to try that again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we, I mean, everyone around here eats cabbage except for yeah. Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love cabbage. Yeah. Uh, Tina made cabbage different the other day. It was good. Yeah, it was good. You know, we was talking about on one of my pages. Uh, I said something about, well, on New Year's, we always have cabbage and usually black eyed peas. We hang on this time. We have no black eyed peas. And somewhere, I think the lady said Pennsylvania, their custom is sauerkraut. Which is a form of cabbage. Yeah. I like sauerkraut. Uh, and I can't remember now. Is it weenies or sausage or something? Or pork? Some type of pork with a sauerkraut? Hmm. Uh, we love um, those brats with a sauerkraut on it. You know those brats? Beer brats? Yeah. With sausage? I used to take sauerkraut and open up a can. It's still cold when you just eat it. I canned some of the sauerkraut from my garden. I, did, I made it. Right. It's just fermented cabbage. All right. Have you ever made chow chow? No. We need to try that this year. Isn't it like a like a relish with like uh, peppers and cabbage and? Yeah, a lady sent me two jars from somewhere. She bought uh, I forget now, Amish or whatever it was that made them, and of course she gets hers. My grandmother used to make it, and it's made, and there's lots of recipes on it. I want to Google it. Lots of different recipes. And I got a lot of recipes people sent me. But it's like cabbage, green tomatoes, and they already use ripe tomatoes. Uh, some peppers and spices and onions, all chopped up, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, what do you eat it on? Like biscuits or it's great. No, crackers? It, it's great with beans. Oh, okay. uh, you know, I, I can make you know pinto beans and put a big old side dish of that stuff on there. You can mix it if you want to, but mm. it's, it's delicious. Yeah, my grandmother made it. It was a big, big thing on, on her table. It was chow chow. Wow. And, have, uh, have you heard of um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're jalapenos sliced like chop, you know, the rounds of jalapenos, but it's sugar like um. They're candied, but they're in a they're in a jar, and they just soak up all the syrup, the sugar syrup, and they're like a sweet, spicy. I don't even know. I've never tried it. I've never tried that. Man. I think it's like cowboy crack or something. Can't remember, but that would be interesting to try if we have a lot of peppers. Yeah. I think you could put those on biscuits, maybe, or crackers. I don't know. I made my own Tabasco sauce mm -hmm. once. You know, Doesn't it, it take a long time? I yeah, remember you said like it. Three they, years. Yeah. But it was fun. I I, I fry these Tabasco peppers because I wanted. I went on lag. I love Tabasco sauce. Mm -hmm. And I went on trying to get a recipe. You know, they won't give you the actual recipe. Yeah. It's a kind of a secret. But it does have vinegar and salt. But it did say they age it for three years. So I I wish they got bright red and I'd pick them. It takes a bunch of them, and I grind them up in a, like a food processor, and put them in a jar, and salt them, and put a little bit of vinegar, and, and I put it in that refrigerator. Then when I got more, I'd add it and stir them all together, mm -hmm. and put them back. When I got that jar full, it was one of these big pickle jars. I put it in the refrigerator, and in the back of the refrigerator, out in my shop, and left it. It was there for like three years. You take that lid off, and, and the pepper would take your breath away. You could not oh breathe; it would take your breath away. <laughs> but you pour some into something, then and pour vinegar with it, and, and mix it, and, and get your juice. It was almost like a a paste, almost. It was just like a paste, you know. Mm -hmm. 
just salt. And just had a little bit of vinegar with it. And you mix the vinegar with some and, and just stir it, stir it, stir it, blend it, but then filter it. And it was good. Really? It was good. Hot. Did, it was good. It didn't mold or anything? Or? No. As long as the ice box, it never, it never yeah. went bad at all. Good. Know. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I do remember that a long time ago. You said it, it takes a long, long time. Yeah, it's cheaper probably for bass. Yeah, <laughs> but it's cool to know how to but do it, it, it you know. Fun. It was fun. I, I just played with it. it yeah. Fun. But it was good. Like your goat cheese that you made that time. Yeah. <sighs> hi. Tell Steph hi. What you doing? Tell her hi. Yeah, I think you'll have fun with it, Steph. Yeah, I think so, too. It'll be a good. Hey, little Coda bear. It's a perfect day. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Well, all right. Well, thank you so much. And when are you go to try to do your page? Uh, everything goes live on Friday. Oh well. Yeah. So I've got a few uh, videos I've already done, and so to start, and then I'll just keep cranking them out. Show what we do down there. Down the hill. Not up the hill, but down the hill. Down, the hill. <laughs> down in the valley. Yeah. Hey, bye, Papa.